In 2015, the director of NIOSH, Dr. John Howard, asked the NIOSH Western States Division to begin to explore safety and health issues in American Indian and Alaska Native communities and among American Indian and Alaska Native workers. NIOSH and our partners have conducted a number of other activities like site visits to different tribal communities and exploring a variety of different data sources to help us better understand what some of the safety and health issues are, talking to people in tribal communities, talking to workers. So a variety of different activities to collect that information. So not a lot is known about the details of worker safety and health in tribal communities. And so one of the main goals of this work, this effort, is to be able to better describe characteristics of the American Indian and Alaska Native workforce, how many people are employed in what industries and what occupations, and also to understand what the safety and health issues are so that we can bring more attention to those issues, more resources to those issues, and so that these variety of stakeholders can collaborate on improving occupational safety and health in these communities. The remoteness of uh, many of the reservations uh, and services, particularly emergency services that may be available in remote areas makes high risk work even more dangerous in the sense that if you are injured on the job, it may be a long period of time before you know help can arrive to uh, stabilize you and, and get the care that you need. In 2015 when this initiative started at NIOSH one of the first things that we did was to create a NIOSH topic page focused on American Indian and Alaska Native worker safety and health. That topic page includes information about our initiative it serves as a tool to recruit additional tribes and tribal organizations to participate in the initiative, but it also shares what we know now about worker safety and health in tribal communities. So there are some data sources available on that website as well as several publications describing safety and health issues and hazards in tribal communities. The goal of this initiative is to develop a strategic plan that identifies the key safety and health issues in tribal communities. The exciting thing about this initiative is that it does for the first time bring together a variety of stakeholders to focus on occupational safety and health issues in tribal communities. And by bringing together those variety of resources, by focusing attention on native workers, I think that we're gonna see a level of interest and a level of resources and a level of collaboration focused on worker safety and health in tribal communities that we've never seen before.